All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off with giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the gospel is truth. Um, today's date is uh, September the uh, 23rd, uh, 2020. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to entitle this video, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, uh, we're going to get into. Uh, so, you know, some of the hard times, you know, that the scriptures speak about coming, man. All right, so the first place we're going to start at is the book of, um, let's see, the book of, uh, what is that, Daniel 12th chapter. Bear with me a second. Okay, I'll pause it just to waste, not waste time. All right, there we go. Um, it only took me like 10 seconds to find it after I pushed the pause button. Uh, anyway, um, uh, the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, we'll start at verse 1, says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stands for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as was never, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, um, but the point of the matter is, um, is that's the time that we're coming into, man. Okay, matter of fact, let me even get a verse down here. Uh, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Um, and that's what's going on right now, man. Okay, because, um, you know, say for example... Uh, you're watching uh, this video here, which I'm making this video, you know, somewhere in the United States. And the other day, I just had a viewer from, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Hong Kong. Okay, so all over the, you know, across the plane, you know, somebody, you know, clicked on the video, man. Okay, so they're getting our message literally all over the world. You know, say that again. I made a video here in the United States and got viewers as far as, you know, Hong Kong. Who are, who are watching, you know, uh, these uh, video uh, epistles, I guess one could say. Okay, so one way we can get, you know, the word out is by, you know, either, you know, having our own school like Sakari, where people can come and listen, you know, teaching on the highways and byways, which we should do to the best of our abilities. Um, and the third way is this YouTube, man. Okay, this is how we get the this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, um, you know, to the four corners of the earth, which obviously that's just parabolic when scriptures say that, okay? Um, and then if we go to, let's go to, uh, we'll check out Mount Mark 13. Okay. Um, Okay, we'll just take a little bit of this, uh, Mark 13, and um, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles, and all these are the beginnings of of sorrows right so right now man that's what you see going on right now man okay you got what the you know the global pandemic right which has affected america you know more than the other nations and why is that because these things were directed to uh to affect america you know compared to um you know these other uh nations why because america 
is uh, is Babylon the Great. So, you know, these these plagues were set up to, you know, target America harder than these other nations. Matter of fact, let me uh, get something real quick. Okay, um, Revelation chapter 18, verse, um, verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Right, but the point of the matter is, um, now, you know, when you deal with the scriptures, uh, one day with the Most High is roughly 42 years uh, going by, um, what is that? Uh, for, uh, I believe it's Second Peter the, or First Peter, uh, the, the eighth chapter. I could be mistaken. You guys can tell me in the comment section down below. But according to the book of Peter, uh, a thousand years with the Lord is like one day. Okay, so uh, an hour is roughly 40 um, some years. Okay. Um, so pretty much, you know, we'll even go back a little bit. Let's see, Matthew, we'll go to Matthew 24. Uh, we won't read all of it because we all should be familiar. Um, but yeah, verse, uh, five, for many shall come in my name and saying, I am Yahweh Shai and shall deceive many and be in slack and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, and all that stuff you see going on every single day, man. Okay, every single day you see, you know, conflicts between, you know, this nation and that nation. Right, every day there's, you know, earthquakes going on all over the world. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there was a state in, uh, in the United States just the other day who got an earthquake, man. Okay, pretty much the earthquakes happen yeah all over the world but mainly it's out of the united states but now they're coming over here man you just had um what was it the, the wildfires over in uh, california uh which if i'm not mistaken i believe they're still going on um but i'll have to do more research on that um but the point of the matter is you see you got all that let's count down you know some of the stuff that we've seen in this one year alone 2020 man and i remember i remember um, before 2020, I made a couple videos. I coined 2020 the year of uh, a tribulation, right? The year of revelation. Uh, the Har, Elder Apostle Har of Great Millstone, uh, coined this year the uh, the year of prophecy. And truly, this has been a year of prophecy. Let's count down the things, man. Um, of course, the global pandemic. Uh, the, the year started off with the, uh, what was it? The assassination of that one general, I believe it was a an Israeli uh, general if I'm not mistaken I don't remember that far back it's like not what nine ten months ago uh, but anyway um that those yeah 60 million people unemployed right now and 40 million of those are on the verge of uh you know going homeless um let's see what else do you got going on um Let's see, all the, I can't forget about that, the food shortages. I was just at Walmart the other day, man. And you can clearly see that stuff's starting to run low, man. All right, some stuff is, you know, make they make it look like there's more there because they push the stuff in the back up towards the front. So it appears just by walking by that there's more there than there actually is. But if you look behind stuff, you're going to see that the shelves are empty. Okay. So if they push the stuff to the back of the shelves, obviously people are going to know, well, there's not much here. But if you put the, you know, five that remain to the front of the shelf, people are going to think, oh, well, yeah, there's a whole shelf behind it, but there really is not. 
it's a faulty, you know, empty uh, shelf right behind it. Um, and that's what I've noticed when I went yesterday. Um, but yeah, you got all that stuff going on right now, man. Okay, every single day, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And why is that? Because it all goes back to the scriptures. Okay, because that's what Yahweh Shai, you know, told us, you know, to look for. Okay, uh, for signs of his uh, return. Okay, so all I can say is, you know, we got to keep, you know, teaching. You know, got to keep reading these scriptures. And, you know, we got to, you know, get close to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Because things ain't looking so too good, man. Okay. Um, but, you know, anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, shalom.